You're watching a Nova video podcast. The Parthenon would be the largest building in the world constructed entirely of marble. And in tracing the path of that marble lies the first clue as to how it was built. Before the Parthenon, marble had been imported from quarries on islands in the Aegean Sea. On one of those islands, Naxos, archaeologists discover a small temple. On the beautiful island of Naxos, we see this temple, which is one of the early archaic Greek temples made of stone. The Temple of Demeter was constructed about 100 years before the Parthenon. It too was built with few right angles or straight lines. We can indicate already the curvature of the base of the temple, also the widening of the lower part of the columns. Why are these builders deliberately constructing their temples with curves and few right angles? Professor Margaret Livingstone, a Harvard neurobiologist, believes the ancient Greeks might have been aware of optical illusions. The function of the visual system is not to transmit an image to the brain. There's nobody up there to look at an image. It's to transmit information about the world up to the brain. Our brain translates visual information, like converging lines, to help us assess distance and relative size. But sometimes, something's lost in translation. Here, the converging lines are telling us that the line on the right is taller than the line on the left. The result, an optical illusion. This is another classical illusion. If you have two straight lines, if you add converging lines, these two lines seem to bow in the middle. So if the floor of the Parthenon has converging cues as to depth and perspective, you could have an illusory sag in the floor of the Parthenon. Perhaps to compensate for the illusory sag, the builders left extra marble in the middle. The ancient Greeks realized that to construct a building that appears perfect, they would have to come up with a design that tricks the eye. What they invent is a system of optical refinements. Their concern was the visual perfection of the building. This small stone temple on Naxos provides evidence of the Greeks' keen observation over hundreds of years. Here we can see the first optical refinements already experimented by the people building the temple. Here lies, literally, the DNA of the Parthenon. To find out more about how the Parthenon was built and how its ruins are being reconstructed today, watch Secrets of the Parthenon, airing January 29th on PBS. Or join us online at pbs.org slash nova slash Parthenon.